Hello, I'm Briar Rabbit, and today I will be reviewing the Astro A50 wireless headset. Before we begin, let me quickly share some backstory with you. I purchased this headset in February, I believe on the 13th, for two real reasons. My previous headset was an AX720 by Triton. It had broken, and while I really liked this headset, I wanted to try something different uh, just because I've heard so many durability issues with the Triton, and I've heard good things about the Astro, so I wanted to give them a shot. I was also at a local game store, saw them, so I figured it was time to buy. Uh, I thought the wireless would also be pretty interesting. That's the second reason I bought these. Uh, I had never tried a wireless headset before, not for any reason, not for videos, not for uh, music, and specifically not for gaming. So I thought that the wireless option might help uh, kind of just increase the overall usability of the headset, and uh, I just wanted to give that a shot. I was, uh, I was not given this headset. I purchased it for $299.99 at a local game store, and I am in no way affiliated with Astro. So, you know, this review is just from me. Uh, I did not get paid by Astro, so let's move on. Let's talk about the headset itself a little bit. The A50 is a wireless headset which uses the 5.8 gigahertz spectrum to broadcast sound to and from the mix amp, which is this little guy here, to the headset itself. The mix amp is connected to your gaming system via USB, optical, uh, or auxiliary. For me, normally if I'm hooking it up to a PC or my Mac or my PS3 or Xbox, I use the USB. For the, for the uh, PS3 and for the Xbox, I also use the optical in. It does also have an optical out pass through so you can hook it up to your TV or your uh, surround sound system as well. The USB cable that is provided is very short. I should let you know about that. Actually, that's this one here. Um, it it doesn't. If you're going to use the supplied cable, it does need to be very close to whatever you've got it hooked up to. This is also true for the charging cable. Since this is a wireless headset, it has a battery in it. It needs to be charged, and this is the cable. This is the length of cable. It reminds me actually of the PS3 cable that. Uh, the USB cable that used to come with a PS3 to charge their their um, controllers. It's very short. You cannot you cannot use this while it's charging because the cable is too short. So I don't even know if you can use it at all with a USB cable attached because the one they supplied me is too short. I didn't have a longer one. Uh, On to the uh, mix amp real quick is it does have Dolby surround sound, which is great for gaming. Uh, it's also really good for movies too. So all you have to do is click that on and off. It's very easy to tell if it's on or not. Uh, and that's about it for the mix amp. Other than that, the mix amp just kind of sits inside this little cradle. You can see this, this cradle is supplied by Astro. Uh, and the mix amp sits inside here. And the headphones just hang off of there like that. And you can charge them here and you can do whatever. It's just a great kind of storage mechanism for them. And I appreciate that they gave you that, you know. It's not, it's not a super high quality piece of plastic, but it's, you know, it's a nice little plus that they give it to you. Let's move on to the headset them, itself. Uh, overall, the build quality is pretty good. There, it is all plastic, it feels plasticky, but for the amount of technology that they jack into this thing, I feel like it's pretty good. Uh, it has a microphone on the left-hand side. This is not movable. It has to remain on the left-hand side. And, uh, a cool feature about this is that when you put it into its most upright position, it automatically mutes that ma microphone, which is pretty cool. The uh, right side actually has quite a few controls on it. You can see here is a power button. This is a equalizer selector switch. Number one is a bass heavy mode. Number two is kind of a balanced mode. And number three is a treble heavy mode. One and two were both good for movies, TV, uh, music. I found two to be specifically pretty good for music. Three is really just for gaming, so you can hear uh, trouble heavy noises like footsteps in games uh, and things like that. I did find that these two buttons were a little hard to find with my thumb. Th these are actually on the back side of your head, so you reach to, to them with your thumb. They were a little hard to find, a little hard to press. They're a little bit protected by this um, rail here, so I, I didn't like that that much, but you get used to it a little bit, but they're still they're still hard to find. This is the volume dial, and I really like this. Uh, it was very easy to find with my thumb, 
and it actually requires quite a bit of movement to to move the volume and it's very it's a very fine selection so you never find that you know this setting here is too loud this setting here is too soft you you have quite a bit of adjustability in that on the right side of the ear cup here you actually have the mix amp itself right or the control for the mix amp if you hit this side voice is a bit louder if you hit this side the game sound is a little bit louder the only thing i didn't like about this is that every time you put on or touch actually these this side of the earpiece you you adjust this because it's just so sensitive that it just automatically adjusts i should note also about the build quality is that when you are touching this thing at all you will find that the ear cups actually rattle a bit inside the frame. Uh, I would like to, them to kind of fix that. It happens on both sides. It'd be nice if that was a little bit tighter, a little nicer. The uh, build quality overall I feel is good, but it's just, I don't know, it's still plastic. At $300, it wouldn't, it wouldn't kill anybody to see a little bit of uh, a higher quality construction on this guy. One other thing I wanted to note is that the charging for this is down here. It's a little micro USB. This short cable plugs into here, and that's how you charge the headset itself. Uh, one thing that's kind of weird is that when you're, it's hanging, you actually have to lift it up, move it around, and you'll see that what happens is the whole thing kind of, you know, when you're looking at it, the whole thing kind of moves in your hand. It's a little kludgy. What would have been really cool, and I hope that they they do in the next version of this is that what I'd really like to see is that the uh, the cradle be somehow an automatic charger maybe put a couple of contacts here in the headband and a couple of contacts on that cradle so that when it sits there it just starts charging automatically I think that'd be really cool I don't like this micro USB I think it's kind of weird too also I'd like to note that this is a fully wireless solution for PC Mac and PS3 for the Xbox, you'll actually have to use another cable. It's this cable here, and you'll see it's got a standard uh, two and a, or two and a half millimeter jack that plugs in, and then this side plugs into your Xbox controller. Uh, there are newer, newer headsets, newer wireless headsets that don't need this anymore. I think the Warhead by Triton no longer needs this. It'd be nice if Astro could get away from this too to be a completely wired solution. The sound quality is pretty damn good. I was pretty impressed actually. My AX720 sounded good, but these sound better. And the fact that these are wireless and not wired, I was really happy with. The wireless also reaches quite far around my house. I used it to not only play video games, but to listen to music on. And I was able to wander all around the house without losing signal. And I thought that was pretty good, considering this box is, if you picture a house as a rectangle, this box is in the top right of the rectangle, and my living room would be on the bottom left of that rectangle, and I was able to listen to music all the way in the living room. Uh, and I thought that was pretty far. There are a few walls, a staircase, I, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a distance, and it sounded great. So I was pretty happy about that. The uh, speakers sound good. Uh, it's nice to have those equal, equalization settings. That's something that I didn't have on my Astros. Overall, I'm really gonna recommend these things. I was very satisfied with the purchase. I wouldn't mind if the build quality was improved a little bit and if these buttons were rethought a bit, uh, these two as well. But overall, I'm very happy with them. They serve many more purposes than just a standard gaming headset does. I can listen to movies and music when the kids are asleep. I can play games with them. They really, they're very versatile to me and I'm very happy with the purchase. Again, they're not perfect, but I, for $300, I think they're pretty damn good. So that's all I got for today. Uh, real quick, just to, uh, just to talk about the mic a little bit, I'm going to put a sound clip right at the end of the video recorded with the built-in mic, just so you can hear what the mic sounds like. I think it sounds pretty good. It's not quite as good as like a real micro or a real USB he uh, headphone, but it's really good. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back and this portion of the video is actually being recorded on the Astro A50 headset. Uh, so just to give you a sample of what the microphone sounds like, 
up on the screen right now, you see, may see a couple of videos you may have missed. Uh, on the left-hand side is my Razer Sabretooth review, and on the right-hand side is a, a review, an overview of all the new DLC stuff that came out in March. Uh, it also has in-game representations of all the different camos and everything. It's a pretty good video. Check it out. If you like this video, however, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to see more videos, hit that subscribe button, and they'll be delivered right to your sub box. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.